Rising water demand and decreasing water sources are exacerbating water scarcity in many regions of the world. 66% of the global population, or 4 billion people, currently live in conditions of severe water scarcity for at least one month per year. Hence, the global scarcity of fresh water is a vital and serious humanitarian issue that needs to be addressed. One way of increasing water supply is through desalination of seawater. Currently, data suggests that there are around 16,000 operational desalination plants, producing around 95 million cubic meters a day of desalinated water for human use, of which 48% is produced in the Middle East and North Africa region. Different desalination processes exist such as thermal or reverse osmosis, but in both cases, rejected brine is produced. Brine is a hypersaline concentrate. Therefore, a major challenge associated with desalination technologies is the disposal of this brine, which is both costly and associated with negative environmental impacts. Brine management is both economically expensive and technically difficult, and hence most desalination plants discharge untreated brine directly into the environment. Due to the hypersaline brine and the water treatment chemicals, discharging this brine poses risks to ocean life and marine ecosystems, which can translate into ecological effects observable throughout the food chain. So can brine water be turned into a resource? Since desalination costs are so high, Converting the waste into a resource could help reduce the total costs. The main resources are useful minerals, useful acids, and potentially energy creation. Some techniques can convert brine into acid and base products for reuse. Metal recovery from brine can offer a source of many scarce metals, such as uranium and even lithium, which is important for batteries. A study focused on Australia finds that it is possible to make profits from the recovery of minerals. They state that if the Quinana and Gold Coast plants upgraded their technology to recover salts, they would generate money by selling minerals while producing desalinated water. There are also other ideas to decrease the costs of desalination, which are co-locating power plants with desalination plants, especially if they are nuclear. For example, the desalination plant can use heated seawater from the power plant's cooling water loop as feed water, which can decrease the energy needed for desalination. Therefore, if research and investment into desalination technologies increases, and brine becomes a resource instead of waste, many countries could tackle water scarcity for good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to learn more about climate change and environment related videos, don't forget to subscribe.